Hello everyone! Welcome back, Punky Roo here with another mushroom growing video. This is about liquid culture and determining when liquid culture has gone bad. Now there's a lot of different ways, but I want to talk about specifically what we're seeing here. Now these are two, these are two liquid cultures based on maple syrup that I started recently. I injected them with a spore syringe. And you can see that what has grown and what has developed is very, very different. The one over here, the liquid is very clear. There's well-defined little globules of mycelium. See how beautiful those look? Perfect little globs. And then you have whatever this is. <laughs> this is a disgusting mess. It is just a cloudy... There's no, like, developed anything. I mean, maybe a little scum at the bottom. But this cloudiness is extremely concerning. Um, the coloration is also... It may be due to just the cloudiness, but the coloration... See how it's it's mildly brown here due to the maple syrup on the, the nice, but it's very clear. But look how not only cloudy it is, but it's taken on... It's almost gotten darker. And given the fact that there's ill-defined scum at the bottom, it leads me to believe that there's some kind of contamination going on in this one. What you want to see is, again, nice clear fluid, but a well-defined, almost like a thick but well-structured growth. That right there is mycelium. That is mushroom mycelium right there. If it's more sloppy and not nice little puffy, they almost look like puffy little um, blobs of jam. You can see one. Now, this is one that I've mixed up a little bit. So the the blobs are not as cute and rounded puffy. It's a little it's a little more messed up. But again, liquid is clear and the mass is consistent in shape and consistency. Cloudy mess. Slimy at the bottom. Just a scum layer. So I hope this properly illustrates to you what a contaminated liquid culture, a failed liquid culture looks like. It's pretty obvious. Now it could be, now people have told me in past videos when I've talked about this, that this cloudiness might still be good. But you know what? I have a lot of jars going on. I can just set this one aside and fo focus on the, on what I know is looking good. It can also depend on the type of mushroom, I should say too. Some types of mushrooms can look cloudy or certain strains of certain mushrooms can look a little cloudier. But generally speaking, you want a nice, consistent, solid, puffy, jelly-like mass. Anyway, that's all I have to say for this video. If you're enjoying my new mushroom growing channel, my dedicated mushroom growing channel, be sure to give this channel a like, give this video a thumbs up, and as always, thank you so much for joining me on this journey.